Wednesday the 29th of May 2024. First reading. Reading from the first book of Peter. Remember the ransom that was paid to free from the useless way of life your ancestors handed down was not paid in anything corruptible, neither in silver nor gold, but in the precious blood of a lamb without spot or stain, namely Christ, who, though known since before the world was made, has been revealed only in our time, the end of the ages, for your sake. Through him you now have faith in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory for that very reason, so that you would have faith and hope in God. You have been obedient to the truth and purified your souls until you can love like brothers. In sincerity, let your love for each other be real and from the heart. Your new birth was not from any mortal seed but from the everlasting word of the living and eternal God. All flesh is grass and its glory like the wild flowers. The grass withers, the flower falls, but the word of the Lord remains forever. What is this word? It is the good news that has been brought to you. Responsorial Psalm O praise the Lord, Jerusalem! O praise the Lord, Jerusalem! Sion, praise your God! He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. O praise the Lord, Jerusalem! He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. O praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. O praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia. Whenever anyone obeys what Christ has said, God's love comes to perfection in him. Alleluia. Gospel. Reading from the book of Mark. The disciples were on the road, going up to Jerusalem. Jesus was walking on ahead of them. They were in a daze, and those who followed were apprehensive. Once more taking the twelve aside, he began to tell them what was going to happen to him. Now we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man is about to be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes. They will condemn him to death and will hand him over to the pagans, who will mock him and spit at him and scourge him and put him to death, and after three days he will rise again. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, approached him. Master, they said to him, we want you to do us a favor. He said to them, what is it you want me to do for you? They said to him, allow us to sit one at your right hand and the other at your left in your glory. He did not know what you are asking, Jesus said to them. Can you drink the cup that I must drink, or be baptized with the baptism with which I must be baptized? They replied, We can. Jesus said to them, The cup that I must drink ye shall drink, and with the baptism with which I must be baptized ye shall be baptized. But as for seats at my right hand or my left, these are not mine to grant. They belong to those to whom they have been allotted. When the other ten heard this, they began to feel indignant with James and John. So Jesus called them to him and said to them, You know that among the pagans their so-called rulers lord it over them, and their great men make their authority felt. This is not to happen among you. No, anyone who wants to become great among you must be your servant, and anyone who wants to be first among you must be slave to all. For the Son of Man himself did not come to be served but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Gospel of the Lord.